right, uh, next one. Tom, I get loads of feedback when I play my harmonica through my guitar amp and my Mad Cat mic. How do I stop it? You can only uh, get to the amp volume one, which is the lowest. The easy way to stop it is just don't play through the amp. Anyway, that's it for today's class. No, <laughs> that would just be mean. Uh, yeah, okay, uh, Tom, you know, that's, that's a whole like can of worms type question because when you play a mic, when you use a microphone, I don't have one handy. When you use a microphone, pretend like this is the mic. Whenever you stand away from it, you're usually going to be okay. But if I, if I hold it in my hands, you're basically asking for that horrible thing called feedback. And, and if you're playing through an amp, and especially if you haven't really optimized your mic with your amp, which if you're not a professional and you haven't spent lots and lots and lots of time and money on this, it's unlikely. So you either have to do what the pros do, but I'll, I'll give you sort of an answer. And in, in fact, uh, uh, Tom, <clears throat> if you had posted this question in the, uh, uh, the forums, discussion forums, I would have just sent you directly over to the members area, to the mics and amps section where I do discuss this. So if this answer is not clear, you might want to go see what else I have to say in the mics and amps section in the members area. Just read through that. But feedback is whenever you handhold a mic, you are creating a scenario where you're more likely to cause feedback, and it is what it is. Now you say, well, I've heard people do that, and it works pretty well. Yeah, it's kind of a magic combination of a mic and an amp and then your amp settings. But uh, and also you want the amp far away from you. And also the feedback, by the way, is let's see if I can do this. Uh, here's my here's my amp. And if I'm playing my uh, let's see if I can do this. Here's this is the amp. This is the front of the amp. And I'm playing my harmonica here. So I'm blasting the sound out. Uh, into the amp <clears throat> and the uh, the amp processes the sound with the mic and it sends it out and if your microphone happens to be able to pick up the sound what happens is the sound from the amp goes into the microphone and by going into the microphone then it sends it again through the amp and then that and that sound comes back out the amp and goes into your mic again and it creates a loop which we call a feedback loop so you want to make sure if this is the front of your amp you don't want you don't want your microphone here's your microphone you don't want your microphone like facing where the speakers of the amp are if anything you want to stand to the side or <clears throat> turn it around so like a lot of it what I used to do on stage a lot was I would take my big old amp and I would put it in front of me on the stage. So the amp is here. I'm standing here. Here's, here's Dave. I'm standing here. <clears throat> and when I play my mic and harmonica, it goes through the mic and goes here. But because the microphone is here and the amp is here, it, it's less of a scenario for creating feedback. But so okay so that's the big picture but now to answer your question is you have to play with the settings first of all most amps have like a a pre a preamp volume control and a master the the more you turn up the more you turn up your your preamp volume or your channel volume and the, and the more you turn down the master the more overdrive or distortion you will get and the more likely you are to feed back so you will the more distorted and dirty you try and get your sound the more it's going to feed back so what you want to do is you've got again these two volumes one for your channel your input volume keep that one relatively low which will keep the sound clean and then take your master volume and turn that up a bit try not to stand too close to the uh, amplifier and again try not to make it so that the mouthpiece part of the mic is facing the speakers so get away from it stand on the side of it if you can 
it's not easy. Uh, all us harmonica players have dealt with this forever, and there's no perfect, exact, you know, right answer, but that's what that is. All right, let me see what else you guys wrote. Um, uh, Tom says, I can put my amp on, uh, in the back and, and uh, um, in the back send, okay, and it seems to work a bit better, but the volume and effects cannot be used. Well, see, that's why. See, that's what's going on. That's exactly what I just explained, Tom, is when you plug it in the back, you're bypassing all the circuitry of the amp, so you're not getting the cool sound and color of the amp at all, and so it's, it's because it's not distorting the sound, it's less likely to feedback, but you don't have to run it through the back send. That That is what's called a direct send, and that's like if you want the sound to go directly to a mixing board if you're playing live. That's what that's actually for. But you want to go into the input, and you want to turn your channel volume way, way down. Maybe start with your equalization if you have uh, treble, bass, and e uh, treble, mid, and bass, uh, three knobs, most amps do, but not all. Um, you don't put them all at 50% to begin with. And if you hear high, high squeals, that's the high end feeding back. If you hear like a low rumble squeal, that's your bass, the low end feeding back. If you hear kind of a mid thing, that's the mid range feeding back. And whichever one seems to be feeding back, turn that knob down, keep the other ones up. If you've got no problem with your mid range, and with your bass feeding back, the bass sound, then you can turn those up or leave them at 50% and take your treble, you're going, oh, it's a high-pitched squeal, then turn that one down a bit. And then again, watch the volumes. Your channel volume should be low, master volume higher. You just have to play with it and you will find an optimal setting for you, but it will never, ever be perfect. But the bigger the amp you have, usually the easier it is to work this with. Those people have smaller amps, they tend to crank them up, and the more you crank up the circuitry, the more likely it is to feed back. Mm -hmm.